All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking about real music in real time for real people just like you, just like me. Thanks for watching the channel and don't forget to subscribe. Uh, Steve Perry has given us a gift for Friday the 13th, the year 2020. Yes, <laughs> what could go wrong? <laughs> Oh, uh, the fact that I noticed it was Friday the 13th is, is kind of scaring me. So, um, again, you might want to, not because of any floating particles out there, but you might just want to stay in a safe place today, okay? Um, maybe turn the television off, maybe turn all the media off, except you might want to check out this brand new rearranged version of the song, Most of All. Uh, by Steve Perry, originally released on the album Traces. Perry has alternate versions and sketches, which will be coming out soon. And holy crap, Batman, this song um, is a home run on several fronts. First of all, the arrangement is impeccable. These acoustic guitars that come in toward the end of the track are absolutely scintillating. I mean, the little hairs on the back of your neck, they might stand up a bit because it's just so crisp and clean. And uh, I grew up in an era, all right, where production value was important. There wasn't all of this compression and there wasn't all of this. Um, today, they use a lot of pro tools and a lot of things where they actually put that music out rather than sketching it and then maybe playing it on some real instruments. And now they're putting out a lot of computer-generated sounds. <laughs> there are no computer-generated sounds on the track, most of all. Um, Steve Perry, let's talk about this for a moment. And um, I'm going to be honest. When the Traces album came out, I had some reservations about Steve's vocals, all right, when it first came out. I listened to it over and over, and then I... I kind of got it, you know what I mean? And it, Steve's voice is different from, you know, back in 1981 when I saw him play at the Cape Cod Coliseum, all right, with Journey. Um, he was an arena rock singer in those days. And I think he described it as having these Olympic vocals that he thinks he could still do. He might have to tune it down a bit, and I think he would have to. I just think, you know... Arnel Pineda at times struggles with this stuff. I know Journey, I think they tune everything down a half step now, which they didn't always do. Journey Through Time, when they were out there, they actually played everything at full strength, which I thought was pretty impressive with Dean Castronovo singing. But um, Steve Perry, all right, you could tell that he loves this music. He is just enthralled with this almost like Burt Backrack kind of um, beauty and wonder that he's created in these songs. His songwriting partner, at least one of them, Randy Goodrum, helped with that. Randy is kind of a, you know, a genius in his own right. A lot of people don't know who he is, but if you're going to pick a great songwriter to hang with, uh, Randy Goodrum is one of those guys. Now, Perry, because it's just him, in a very stripped down arrangement, you get to hear all of this just, I don't know, majesty in the guy's voice. And I, I'm not at all being, you know, uh, I don't know, overblowing this or overdoing this. This is just really great Steve Perry to listen to. And I have this studio here where I do these videos and I have this sound system which I put together kind of piecemeal thrift store kind of thing, but um, with Bluetooth from the computer to the speaker system, it's a holy crap Batman when you hear it. Um, one thing that Perry is basically telling everybody is, oh, you, you think I've lost it? You think I can't sing anymore? Because to do this kind of a stripped down arrangement, you have to be able to pull it off vocally. Because if you start eliminating all of the noise and all the compression and all the distractions in the song, and it, it focuses on you. Now, granted, um, Perry's voice is raspier. And the raspiness in Perry's voice actually started in the 1990s. You can hear it on his album, For the Love of Strange Medicine. It definitely shows up there. 
And it's not necessarily a bad thing. I think it was from years of touring and, you know, beating your voice into the ground. And that raspiness actually adds sort of an emotional pull, a little bit more drama. When you're listening to most of all, you're thinking, man, this guy is just, is the words, you're just like hanging on each word. And you're picking up the lyrics in, in like full strength because of the whole arrangement, the stripped down arrangement. So um, go listen to the track. Go listen to the song. Um, this, if you're expecting, you know, there's some people that, Kind of, they used to send me messages going, well, this isn't Journey. This isn't what I expected. Um, Steve Perry is making beautiful, sort of elegant, highbrow music. Now, you may say, well, it's great for cocktail hour, but what if I want to rock out? Well, you might want to put on some old Journey then. I don't know. <laughs> the thing is, it's designed to be personal and emotional and deep and meaningful. And Perry has hit a home run with this arrangement. Um, I like this arrangement better than the original track. Now, uh, simultaneously, it appears that Steve Perry has released a radio version of Most of All, again trying to get attention over at radio. Um, I don't know what you have to do to get attention over at radio. I know Delilah is a syndicated show. It's on in the evening. It's as corporate radio as you can possibly get. And if she plays a song, it's got to be approved. It can't just be Delilah. Delilah's doing her shtick. And then, you know, the powers that be fill in the music. And sometimes, you know, pick it out ahead of time and so forth. So to get Perry on a show like that with a new track, it would have to be kind of a corporate decision, which again... People might interview Steve Perry. They might want to hang out with Steve Perry. Um, these radio stations, oh, Steve Perry, oh, let's welcome Steve Perry to the show. And uh, rather than playing this track, they're going to play like uh, Foolish Heart. And you just scratch your head and you go, and people would love to hear a new music by Steve Perry. What are you guys doing? Uh, it's, radio is frustrating these days. So you've got to be your own radio. you got to go listen for yourself. Make your own playlist. More importantly, make sure you go out and purchase a copy of Trace's alternate versions and sketches. Because you help Steve Perry, obviously, because he's the one that created this art. And you should be assisting him and saying, hey, I value this so much, I'm willing to go out and purchase it, even though I can stream it. All right, because streaming revenue, not so good. All right, and um, it's the old-fashioned way to do it. When this hits the stores, I will be out there. I will be in line. I will be purchasing, all right? I didn't have a great experience at Target when I went and bought Traces, but uh, I'm planning on buying this as well. If it's available at Walmart or some other store, I might attempt that, or maybe I can just have them ship me a copy like I've been doing for the most part, but I like the actual going to the store, buying the album experience, because nothing beats that. That brings back the old days when you would, you know, go to the record store and flip through and pick out some albums and so forth. Um, I'm just holding on to a little bit of nostalgia there. So Home Run by Steve Perry, most of all, stripped down version. You got to hear it. Steve's vocals are pristine. They are beautiful. You got to check this out. All right, again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, hit the bell for notifications, and you can join me over on Patreon for just a dollar a month. Every dollar helps. It keeps this channel vibrant and moving forward as we unfortunately go into a little bit of a downturn with the revenue situation. But I'm not complaining. I've got a good gig. I just need you guys to help me out. All right, thanks again, and I'll see you soon.